Hi Facebook friends, this is Andrew, one of the naturalists here at Heckrat Wetland Reserve. Welcome to hanging at Heckrat. Right now I'm sitting in the prairie just listening to the wonderful sounds of the insects that you can hear this time of year. You can also see insects too. So things that you can see are crickets and you can actually hear them too. Um, you can hear cicadas and there's definitely a lot of grasshoppers hopping around now. Um, let's learn a little bit about each one of these little insects. So in my bug box here, we have a tiny little field cricket. There are different types of crickets. There's field crickets, there's a caramel cricket, which is like, well, caramel color, and then there's tree crickets. This is a field cricket, commonly seen here at Heckrot in our prairie. You can also hear them right now. Um, crickets actually make their chirping noise um, with their wings, so they have a scraper, and a file on their wings and they roam them together. And a fun fact is crickets actually have ears on their front legs just below the knees. So they can hear with their legs. It's kind of cool. So the sound of a cricket when they rub their wings together is like using a comb, rubbing your nail against it like this. Kind of the cricket sound. They get their names from that sound. You can do this at home. It's kind of fun. All right, let's let our little friend go. Goodbye, little guy. So in this bug box here, I have a little grasshopper. There are 25 species of grasshoppers and crickets in Wisconsin. This is a two-lined grasshopper. And you can see he's crawling up there. They use their hind legs to make the noise, the grasshopper noise. Um, they call, the males call for the females. They use those little hair-like pegs on the back of their legs there and rub it against their wings to make the noise. So there's that guy. He's excited to jump out. There he goes. So I found this really cool thing on a piece of grass in the prairie here at Heckrat. This is a cicada nymph exoskeleton. So cicadas, um, the female lays her eggs in a tree. When the eggs Hatch, the young nymphs travel underground and they spend two to 17 years, depending on that species of cicada, under the ground, eating and just being active underneath the ground. And once they're ready to develop into their adult phase, they come out from under the ground latch onto a tree or a plant, in this case it was a piece of grass, and they molt one last time out of their nymph exoskeleton as an adult. So it's pretty cool. So this is the exoskeleton of the nymph, and you can see, if I can turn it around, where it came out of. So that slit right there is where the adult emerged from. It's kind of a cool find here at the Heckrat Prairie. Now that you guys learned about some insects here on the prairie, come on out. This is a perfect time to be in the prairie. You can hear the insects. You can try to find the insects. They're everywhere. I challenge you. 
Special thanks to Community First Credit Union for being our community partner in education. Oh, I was because of their support, we're able to provide awesome programs for you. Special thanks again to Community First Credit Union for being our community partner in education.